A final news story of the week, and it is RZ, the jewel of Faramore. Mm-hmm. It's out now. Uh, not typical digital foundry fair, but John, you've actually been involved in the creation of this game, and it's out now. Yes, I just wanted to throw that out there for everyone. I've talked about it before, but it is out. It is a spiritual successor to the CDI Zelda games, only it's good. That's the because difference. Because everybody demanded it. Everybody demanded it. It's it you know it filled memes for years with the uh, that amazing work from Animation Magic back in the day. But you know my buddy Seth was like, "What if what if we actually made a sequel?" And he was the one actually that did the quote unquote remakes of the CDI games for Windows some years ago, if you remember. And then mm-hmm. was able to leverage this to turn it into a full original game, and I think it's great. Uh, And the reaction actually has been also really great to the point where it was beyond expectations because it's with something like this, right? You're like, uh, how many people are really going to get what this is trying to be and enjoy it as it is? And we just weren't sure. But in the end, uh, we're at Metacritic 77 right now, which I think is pretty darn good, actually, for this. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. and most of the reviewers seem to like like it actually, and yeah, it's a it's a two D action platformer. It's got a non linear structure, but it's not a typical Metroidvania. It's like you go, it's a series of you have this world map, and you basically pick your locations from the world map, uh, and you unlock more as you progress through it. But you go back into levels and out of levels as you gain new powers and abilities, and sort of slowly break apart the game. Uh, I think it plays really well, and all the story stuff is told through ridiculous hand animated cutscenes uh which uh yeah those artists they they totally nailed that look of that cdi stuff they did a great job like the Mm -hmm. the idea was like okay it needs to look like because on the cdi games they would do these like fake camera zooms where it's like zooming in and out of like the the characters but it was just on the static background so like the videos themselves are actually like uh it's chroma keyed stuff like seth wrote a really nice shader to do real-time chroma key within game maker which was not trivial uh because uh game maker is not really great for video playback and this is all video stuff but it works it works pretty well uh Mm -hmm. i did a lot of work Mm -hmm. on the level and the game design stuff and uh I I think it turned out really well in the end. Uh, I I hope you guys get a chance to play it at some point and share your thoughts. Uh, I I played the yes, pre-release right. you were, uh, build that you sent over to me that I thought was pretty. Yeah, we sick. figured out that uh, one I uh, that I and I setting uh, to change with the uh, because the game maker defaults. It's like what if you played on an ultra potato PC and it it caused some yeah. time <laughs> inconsistencies. It's a uh, yeah that was so interesting. There was a setting that. Uh, I don't know. It was like something to do with the game update or how much yeah, it's yeah, preserving yeah, yeah. from the processor. Exactly. But if it's set too low, a fast PC will stutter, uh, which is interesting. Uh, and we that took a little bit to figure out. But uh, I was really liked the level art quite a lot uh, in the, the the little sections that I played. It also controlled smoothly, which is I think very very important. Uh, and yeah, it was just a smooth scrolling experience. I yeah, it. so um, it's out now digitally, and Limited Run also is selling a physical version, of course, with right? CDI I'm a tef- controllers. I you understand. can get you can get the special edition with, with replica CDI controllers. Okay. The, uh, the single handed <laughs> puck. It's a USB one. It actually works with anything you want. And I say it sucks for action games, but it also rules because it's like the ultimate like one handed RPG controller. Because you, okay. just, you oh, yeah, that's sit back, chill, you know, you got this thing in your one hand, you're just going, It's it works. It's I cannot believe that they actually made that thing, but it's actually really cool. I, I love it. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, you know, obviously we're not doing like a normal DF tech review on this. I was thinking at some point maybe Seth and Audie as well, who was obviously huge involved in this, uh, we were might do a stream at some point where we kind of run through mm-hmm. like basically some of the development stuff. We can show the editor and show how the levels were made. If if you're interested to see how this all comes together, maybe that's something we'll do. So okay. in the meantime, that's awesome, yeah. John, you've got a high uh, Metacritic and, and he's gone. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We'll take it. Isn't days gone like a 60? It's a 71. Something? 
You're wow. on 77. You're, on 77. you're gen generally favorable. I will say, I feel like the reviews are a little overly harsh in Days Gone. Days Gone's I agree. I think it's pretty good darn good. Days Gone's a fine it, game. It's My a goodness. good game. <laughs> it really is. And it does some cool stuff with there. Absolutely. It actually has like good survivalist mechanics for a zombie game, I think. It's it's tried to good. solve fast yeah. travel or try to solve open world travel by making like fuel a resource, you know, things like that. It was cool. That sounds totally but yes, cool. Yes, RZ, the Jewel of Fair Fairmore, out now.